Hey, hackers, I'm Ryan. I've been hacking things my whole life. Happy Saturday. It's probably not Saturday when you're watching this video, but it doesn't really matter. So we're talking about the Arduino Uno Mini. If you search for Arduino Mini or Mini Pro, or if you're, I imagine you're an Arduino fan, if you're watching this, maybe you're an Uno fan, you are not going to be able to get this device because really there's not a lot of content out there. And I wanted to kind of go over the different form factors of the Arduino. I'm looking around for my Arduino Mega, which someone stole. Here it is. So so this is the Arduino Mega scale size. This is the big one. It has tons of digital and analog pins that you can do an amazing art installation or whatever you're interested in doing. This is an Arduino, the traditional size, which has tons of benefits. And this is the Arduino Mini. It's probably upside down. The Arduino Mini, which is a tiny little version of the Arduino. It's celebrating over 10 million projects that were done on the Arduino forums, um, the, the Arduino projects, and it is used for art installations, medical device, data tracking devices, all types of even autonomous vehicles, robots. There is unlimited uses for this amazing little microcomputer. The Arduino Uno Mini comes in this beautiful packaged you know, I'm a huge packaging guy. In fact, I have a degree in the stuff. So it comes with this gold inlay. And I actually think this box is slightly a detriment for me or a, a negative because I want to use this tiny little Arduino thing immediately for a project today that I'm going to talk to you about. So the Arduino comes with this beautiful gold inlay and it has tons of signatures and really cool, beautiful stuff. I just love it. It just feels good. Ever since I thought that this was slightly expensive, um, but I really believe that you should celebrate things like this in like, I don't know, maybe I just, I'm a geek. I don't, you know, whatever. So let's take a look at the spec sheet here. I got to put my glasses on, I'm an old fart. So we have the uh, beautiful board here. You can tell that it looks a little bit bigger here, but it is absolutely tiny. It has all of the things that you would want in Arduino, including um, we have the um, all the digital pins, everything else. Okay, so the overview and why it was exciting is stuff that I already mentioned. Um, you know, an entirely different, uh, a, a wide spectrum of users, 10 million projects. That's why they're making this little board. I'm sure it's going to be knocked off soon. We have USB-C, which makes it a very, very slim um it doesn't really pop up like the traditional USB. I plugged it into both my Windows 10 machine and on my, my Mac, and it works perfectly. We have, obviously, the board does light up. It has LEDs that are on boards. It has tons of digital pins, the analog pins, everything that you would want. We have five volts coming out. The input volts is about the same. So you can power this everything from your computer all the way up to a 12 volt battery. So um, I haven't tested any of that, but I have tested the machine, the board, it actually works. It's not fake. So then we have um, the weight, which is eight grams. I've hardly can even feel this thing in my hand. Matter of fact, I think it's floating. It's floating. It's floating. Okay, so we have the the width right here. Uh, I'll put the specs down below. We have the uh, the uh, fritzing um, diagram, which I'll bring up right now. And here is that. So we're looking at this board and you, this, if you're not familiar with this application, you can actually design things right here. I just simply downloaded the uh, board from that overview page and then I can go ahead and start connecting different parts to the um the board. So when you go back to the specs here, we have the um the the pre-orders right now. I ordered this online. I did not pay $45, but that's pretty much the going rate. So now let me talk about what I plan to use it for and why I want this form factor and it's not to collect it. So I'm going to take my glasses off because I think I look a little bit better without these cheap uh, drugstore glasses. So we're still talking about the Arduino Uno Mini. So I'm making a therapy device for my um, hearing. So it's called bimodal stimulation. And I plan to use this because with medical devices and with therapeutic devices, like things that are used to help people with pain, phantom pain and things like that, you got to think about the application, like in terms of carrying it around. For instance, what if the Apple Watch was as large as this 
tape measure, okay? So when you think about a watch, you want it to be compact, small, and everything else. No one's gonna look at a watch the size of a tape measure or the size of a Diet Coke can. So the fact is this form factor, this factor is the scale is unbelievably useful in applications where you wanna carry around ubiquitous or devices that you want to be around you or a lot. And also, honestly, I think when you look at some of the other scales and you look at the difference between these two Arduinos, you are going to basically see that there is probably going to be some reduced power consumption in this tiny little board versus this board. Now, I have to be honest, the last thing I'm going to tell you here is that I have no idea whether or not they plan to mass produce these things. There's nothing that says that after this gold edition, and in fact, it says that this is going to be extremely valuable if you buy this now and if it's unopened, but there's no tape. I don't really understand. I mean, are they going to fingerprint it? And look, this is definitely a beautiful box. Both of the boxes, I bought two of these. Both of these boxes are gold. They, I don't. I didn't do anything to them. So is this going to be like my retirement? Am I going to sell this mini Arduino for $5.2 billion? Is this the next Bitcoin? Because um, if they stop making them, maybe it's the thing that I should have done and forget all my projects because all my worries are going to be over because... I guess I'll be rich. Anyways, whatever you do, make something to connect someone. Bye.